Greetings, Trinity Lutheran Church, the community of Blue Earth, and all those joining us at home. This day ends our Lenten observance, and we enter into what is called the Tridium, the three days, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and the celebration of Easter. We, in our particular places, will gather with Christians around the world to celebrate the three days of Jesus' death and resurrection. On Monday, Thursday, we remember Christ's last meal with his disciples, the central focus being the commandment to love one another. Whether it is through a meal or the washing of feet, Jesus' service and care of those he loved and who would be carrying on his ministry was shown. As Jesus washed the disciples' feet, we are called to give and receive love in humble service to one another. Formed into a new body in Christ through this holy meal, we are transformed by God's mercy we have received, and we are bearers of Christ into the world. In front of me are the cups that were glazed by our First Communion class and some of the parents that joined them. On Monday, Thursday, often as churches celebrate Holy Communion, in addition, some celebrate the foot washing. But I think the symbolism of these cups are important because Jesus does not just say that God loves the world, but that God loves you. That God loves you so much that God wouldn't even let death get in the way of God's love for you. Jesus experienced many things that were hardships that we too experience. Grief, isolation, falling away of friends, misunderstandings, persecution, mockery. Through these things, God persists. God presses on to give us new life. And God heals the world in the midst of those things. So for Monday, Thursday, Wherever you may be, whether you have an opportunity to have a meal together in a church, whether you have your feet washed in a celebration of those scriptures, or maybe if you're just sitting at your table, know that the tridium, Christ's life, death, and resurrection, is for you. We take a moment in this devotion and this Monday, Thursday reflection time to confess our sins to God, knowing that God gives us forgiveness. So I invite you, wherever you are, to take a moment of silence and offer to God whatever weighs on you. And we will close in prayer. Holy God, we give you thanks that on this day you remind us to love one another as you have loved us. We know that your love surrounds us, even if sometimes we are blind to see it. Help us to remember that the gifts of God are for us and for us to share. Help us in whatever ways that we acknowledge your life, your death, and your coming resurrection, that you are with us and you give us the strength to love one another. Forgive us all these sins and we give thanks that you, through your life, death, and resurrection, make all things new. Monday service, Monday, Thursday services end with the stripping of the altar, where we take away all the things, all the symbols, and we rest and prepare our hearts for Good Friday. So I invite you, as the picture comes to a close, to hear the melody of the hymn and reflect on its words as we prepare for the next step of the Tridium, Good Friday, 
and yes, the resurrection. Thank you.